Ah, finally another break. I have been studying for the DAT exam all day. Taken a few time tests and I've done very well, but what's this? Oh, don't tell me again. I end up with Dr. Romano every time. I do think I recognize this though. Thank God. I believe this is a Deals Alder reaction. It's a Deals Alder. Uh, oh, is that you, Dr. Mono? Um, that's a Deals Alder, correct? Absolutely not. Where do you see a six-membered ring, my friend? There's no six-membered ring even here. Well, let They're me take a look no again. Ring. Hold on, hold. Ooh, I guess you're right. Let's go over what this is. This is an extremely important reaction for the DAT exam. Um, it's going to be two steps, and what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take an alkyne. It could be any alkyne. What I'm going to do is add water, acid, under HGOAC catalysis. And what these three things do, it simply adds water, Markovnikov. The carbon with the most H's gets the H, as you can see there. The other carbon gets the OH. Now, when I form this, I form what's called an enol. Generally speaking, an enol is not very stable and it's going to undergo a rearrangement. And we call this rearrangement, as you can see, a tautomeric shift. Now, very simply, what you're going to do is you're going to move this H to here and the double bond to here, and you're going to form a carbonyl group. And that's going to be your final product. So as you can see, what I've accomplished, I've gone from an alkyne functional group to a ketone functional group. In practice, in real life, in organic chemistry, we do this all the time. We utilize this reaction to create a ketone from an alkyne. Now, once we did that, the next step is another universal step, and for you it's extremely important. It's called a reduction. NaBH4 in water, or you could have used lithium aluminum hydride, ether, then water. What that's going to do is break the double bond O, and add an H to the O and an H to the carbon and give you an alcohol. And that reaction, when you add an H's, is called a reduction. So to recap what I've done, I've done two transformations. I've gone from an alkyne into a ketone, and then I reduced the ketone, as you can see, into the secondary alcohol. I hope that helps on the chemistry of the alkynes. In the clip that I've done previous, I did a few other really good reactions using things like Linlaw's catalyst and sodium and liquid ammonia. All right, I hope that helps you. Dr. Romano, do you think I need to get back to work? I seriously think you need to go back to the drawing board. Possibly pick up an organic chemistry book and do some review before you go on any further. Because the destroyer questions and the questions like this that you're going to see on the dad, you need to have a fundamental working of all the different reactions. They're very easy. They're not hard, but there's a lot of them, and you got to just practice them and make sure you've seen them before. Okay, Dr. Romano, I'll take your advice. All right, good day to you. Okay, bye, Dr. Romano. I hope I see you again. Not.